Hello everyone, it's Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. Just going to do my little uh, weekly roundup on all the transfer news. Um, first one I'm going to start with, it's official, the club have confirmed it. Sofian Faguli, I'm sure that's how you say it, has signed a three-year deal on a free transfer from Valencia. Uh, 26-year-old winger, Algerian international. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've, I've seen him play a couple of times. Um, I'm not going to say that I know everything about him, but what I've seen of him, He's a pacey winger, uh, he's skillful, uh, he likes to get, keep the ball on the floor, look for passes, looks to take people on. Uh, it's just what we need at West Ham. I know we've got, obviously, Antonio already and Lanzini, players like that, but it's not. It's good to add players like this to the squad, and I feel like he's going to be a direct replacement for Victor Moses. Um, I mean, he's, uh, like I said, 26 years old. Uh, he's played in La Liga for a top team, Valencia. Uh, he's also represented his country at the World Cup uh, 2014. Uh, we actually scored against Belgium in the opening game. Uh, he made he scored 20 goals in 140 odd appearances for Valencia. And like I said, it's a free transfer, three year deal. Uh, apparently, there was rumours that Man United were linked with him as well. So for us to get him, he's obviously looked. Uh, he sat down with Slaven Bilic and. Bilic has obviously told him the plans we've got at West Ham, the new stadium. And, uh, yeah, I mean, welcome to the club. I mean, it's it's good to... I love adding new players to the squad. Don't like seeing players leave, but when you when you do sign someone, um, it's good. I know it's a free transfer, but it's a great, I think it's a great signing by the club, uh, especially with Europa League football, and hopefully we progress through that. Premier League games, cup games next season, we're going to need to build a big squad. So yeah, listen, give give it all you for, for West Ham. You know, as you see what we do with all our players, you you give us your all and we're back you 100%. So yeah, welcome to the club. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is Alexandre Lacazette. Uh, it looks like this is the man that we want. This is our main transfer target for the striker that we need. Um, Rumours are we, we had a £32 million bid rejected by Leon. Uh, they're holding out for 40. I mean, to think West Ham, little old West Ham, eh? Bidding £32 million for a player. It's unbelievable. But he's the man that we want. Uh, apparently, he's, he said that he's happy to come. As we know, he's good mates with Dimitri Payet. Um, so, yeah, let's hope. I mean, if you're going to pay, if you're going to bid £32 million, surely, Golden Sullivan, listen, I know it's not my money, but surely you can find that extra £8 million if you really, really want him. But, no, listen... We need a we need a we need a goal scorer. Listen, I'm not saying he's going to come straight away. We don't know. The Premiership is totally different to French football. You know, he could come here and it couldn't work out for him. But I, what I've seen of him, I think he'll adapt to the Premiership well, um, and it'd be good to see him. So hopefully, we're um, hopefully over the next few days, we'll see how that one goes. The next transfer rumours: uh, Slaven Bilic have come out yesterday and said that he wants to pair. It's the Besiktas pair, Gokhan Torre and Atiba Hutchinson. As we know, Bilic worked with them both uh, before. He's keen admirers of them. As I've done before on previous transfer videos, Gokhan Torre is a player that excites me. I'd love to see him at West Ham. Apparently they uh, wanted 17 million, but now they've dropped the price to 13. So hopefully West Ham will pay that, bring them both in. I think, once again, another winger. Um... And Hutchinson would be, for me, a direct replacement for Alex Song leaving. And like I said, we've got to build this squad now, bringing in quality players, and it's just adding to this squad all the time. Um, one one other thing I want to talk about that I see was that Billy just turned around and said that he's not interested in signing a right-back because he feels that Antonio can play there. Um, I know we've also got Byram who can play there, and we've got James Tompkins as well. The Antonio thing, it's, it's a bit weird for me because I love seeing Antonio go forward. He, he, listen, he'd he done he done excellent at right back last season. He'd done what he was asked. He, he'd never shrugged his shoulder and said, I don't want to play there. He just got on with it and he'd done a good job. But for me, he's better going forward. But with us signing for Gouli and looks like Gokhan Torre as well, maybe Bilic is trying to turn him into a right back you know so 
I mean, Antonio, you know, he's one of them players. He'll get on with it. if he's As long as his name's in that team sheet, I don't care. I think he'd gain goal if he could. But, yeah, so it's a bit of a weird one for me. Um, but, listen, Bilic is, Bilic is the gaffer. So, what he says goes. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it for transfer rumours that I've heard today. Obviously, we've completed the signing of Faguli. The Lacazette deal, the two Besitash boys, uh, Hutchinson and Gokhan Torre. So yeah, I mean, if there's any more that I haven't mentioned, I will be doing more of these videos over the next few weeks anyway. So anyone I haven't mentioned, uh, leave in the comments below. Give us your thoughts on the players. Give us your thoughts on Faguli as well. Do you think he's going to um, be a good player for West Ham? You know, give us your thoughts. Uh, a couple of other things I want to talk about is players that are rumoured to be leaving. First one is the Afro Sacco. Apparently, he's handed in a transfer request. Uh, it's not been confirmed. It's just rumours at the moment. But for me, I've always said, it doesn't matter who the player is. It doesn't matter if it's Dimitri Payet. If no player wants to play for West Ham, then he's got to go. I don't want players like that at the club. The Afro Sacco on his day is a quality player. But if he wants to go, I mean, the teams he's rumoured to be that are interested are Sunderland, who have launched a £12 million bid, and West Brom. Now, the Afro Sacco, the way West Ham are going, we're on the up. No disrespect to Sunderland or West Brom, but if he feels that leaving us to go to them is better for his career, then that just says about how much he wants to achieve in his career. Uh, I've just heard on... Um, I've just seen on the web on a on a website that his agents come out and said that the Afro Sacco is willing to stay if he's guaranteed to start. Well, listen, the Afro, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> no one's guaranteed to start football. If you're not playing well, you're not you're not you're not playing. Simple. So, if you want to stay, get your head down, do what you do best, put the ball in the back of the net. If not, see you later. Uh, the last one is the main man, Dimitri Payet. <laughs> what a what a game he had the other night for France. You know, to score that last minute winner. Uh, as soon as that went in, I just thought to myself, "Oh, here we go." You got Chelsea, United, City, PSG, Real Madrid, Barcelona, all interested. Which, of course, they are. Of course, they're going to be interested. But listen, he's a West Ham player. He signed a five-year deal. He loves the club. We love the club. David Sullivan's already come out and said that he's not selling him at any price. I think if someone come in for an £80 million bid, I think David Sullivan might think twice about that. But listen, we ain't got to sell him. So he's he's the main man for West Ham. So yeah, I, I can't see that one happening. Unless it's a stupid, stupid bid, then West Ham would have to look at it. But I don't think Pyatt would want to leave. We don't want him to leave. So he's our player. So hands off. So yeah, I mean, that's it. It's just a quick little video. Um, leave your comments below on all the things I've discussed. Uh, the signings, Sacco, Dimitri Payet. And yeah, listen, I'll leave that there. Uh, look out for, we've got loads of videos coming up over the next few weeks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And yeah, look out for the England stuff. We've got loads, loads of stuff coming up. So I'll leave that there. So I'm Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. Thanks for watching. Come on, you irons.